Hi, I'm John Cresswell, and in today's video, I'm going to go through how to mount your Hydra HS225 in front of your low power variable optic. Watch this video to find out more. Please do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. The Hydra 3-in-1 thermal can be mounted in three different ways. It can be used as a handheld device, it can be used as a clip-on, or it can be used as a standalone optic. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Hydra HS225 as a clip-on. Okay, so the things that you're going to need, you're going to need your rifle. As you can see, this rifle has already been cleared and it has a low power variable optic already fitted. You're going to need a Torx screwdriver and a T25 bit, and you're going to need your Hydra HS225. Okay, so let's open up the DNT box. Inside the DNT box, you'll find the scope mount kit. The eye cup and the optic. So I'm now going to go through step-by-step -step instructions on how to mount the Hydra HS225 onto your AR in clip-on mode. So it will be fitted in front of our low power variable optic. Inside the box you'll find a cantilever mount. This is the DNT cantilever mount. It's a Nort MOA mount and it also has the torque settings written on the side. You will also find a T25 wrench and four bolts. Before you mount the Hydra, it's probably a good idea to set it up so that it is in clip-on mode. To do that, we power on the device and the blue LED light comes on and then look through the optic and change the settings. Press and hold the middle menu button We've got clip-on highlighted, so a short press of the menu button and that will activate clip-on mode. And you notice the menu and all of the screen information moves more centrally within the screen. We can now switch the unit off. Now that we've got the Hydra configured in clip-on mode, we're going to carry on with the rest of our fitting. So we get the mount, we're going to place that so that the cantilever mount goes towards the ocular end and we can line up the holes and then take each bolt in turn and just drop them in place. And then we're going to take our torque driver and do up the bolts hand tight. Once all the bolts have been done up hand tight, we then need to torque them up to 35 inch pounds. So if we set our torque driver to 35 inch pounds, and then tighten up each bolt. No specific order, but I do like to work in opposites. Now that those bolts are all nice and secure, we need to change this back to 30 inch pounds. And we're going to loosen off the three bolts on the side of the Picatinny mount. Now that we've got the mount fitted to the base of the Hydra, we're now going to fit the Hydra onto our Picatinny rail in front of our optic. On the inside of the mount, you'll notice a little lug and that lug goes in between the notches on the Picatinny rail. I'm going to place the eye cup over the end of the optic, hold it in place with my finger, and then get our Hydra, and then mount that nice and close. Just hold that with my fingers, and then do up each of the bolts individually. Okay, so that's nice and secure on the mount. Then I'm going to make sure that the eye cup is fitted nice and snug onto the Hydra. There we go. So you don't have to fit the eye cup. The only reason why I've done that is so that no light from the unit is visible. So there we have it. That is the Hydra mounted 
on my Smith & Wesson. I know some people have had issues where the clip-on is mounted a lot higher or lower than their low power variable optic but as you can see in my case it's pretty spot on. So there you have it. Okay, so as you can see, we've got all the deer just happily going about their business. So let's talk through all of the different things that you can see on the screen. So in the top left, you can see the recording indicator and the elapsed time. Then you can see the zoom, it's on three times. If I press the zoom button, you can zoom from four and a half, six, nine, and then 12 times. And then if we press it back again, we go back to three. You can see that I've got the Wi-Fi on the device switched on, and the microphone on the device is on. The battery has got three bars, and you can also see the time in the top right. Moving down to the middle of the screen, you can see a cant indicator. So you can see I'm canted over to the left. Green means I'm in the middle, I'm level. And then the right, you can see that you're canted over to the right. You can, I've got the crosshair in the middle, or the reticle in the middle of the screen. I've just got a simple cross and then I've got the barrel or the uh, device angle, so this is pointing up. So let's cycle through each of the different colour palettes. So short pressing the menu button, go to red hot, so in red hot the hottest parts or the hottest parts of the image will look yellowy red and the colder will be blue and dark blue. Then we have iron hot, so iron hot um, shows temperature differences and again the highest temperature difference is yellow and red and then the cooler objects will appear um, darker, so blue or black. White hot, the hot or heat source will appear white, so the warmer it is the whiter it will be. And then black hot is the invert of white hot so as you can see our deer is looking much darker in color thank you so much for watching my video on mounting the hydra hs225 in clip-on mode in front of your low power variable optic if you did like this video please do hit that like button and please do share it with any of your friends who might have the hydra and are looking to mount or configure their optics in this way Please do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.